Hola, buenos dias. Good morning, my beautiful people. Welcome back to the channel. I'm so glad you could join us today. It's your girl here, as always, Daniela, aka Fort Lizard. And today I'm going to be sharing a flip through of one of the happy planners I used in my lineup last year in 2021. This is the Rong Rong classic sized happy planner that says you can and you will with this super gorgeous cover and I use this for fitness so if you're interested in checking out um, a flip through of this planner that I used for the entire year of 2021 just keep on watching So as always, I have my cafecito here in my super cute mug. Please don't judge me for how much cream I have in my uh, coffee right now. I used to drink coffee like absolutely black. I didn't have it any other way. And it wasn't until recently, like I would say in the last year, that I started adding uh, cream to my coffee. And now I am addicted. I'm hooked. I'm thinking that maybe though, um, I'll, I'm gonna go one month off, one month on, like one month I'll have cream and then one month I, I'll just go back to drinking black and then one month cream and so on, just so that I really don't get addicted to this stuff because it is super, super tasty. Anyways, like I said, this is the Rong Grong Fitness Planner from the Happy Planner and I had so much fun with this planner. Ugh, it's gorgeous. I love it so much and, um... A little bit of history with this with this planner here. This was the first planner I first happy planner I ever purchased. I don't even remember how I got into the planning community. I stumbled on some planners videos and she was not a happy planner. I remember that much. I just remember stumbling onto some planner videos. I think she was using an Erin Condren planner and I got really, uh, really into her videos. And then that's when I discovered the planner community because you know, the YouTube algorithms um, just started throwing uh, planner stuff at me. And at some point, I discovered the happy planner and I was so, so inspired and intrigued by it. And so I went to my Joann's and I found this planner on clearance for about, I think it was like $12 and it was a fitness planner. And at that point in my life, I had a, what I called an art journal. And actually I have it here right next to me. Here, let me grab it. I had an art journal as a planner and I had been using a planner like this for a couple of years now. And this is an art notebook. It has completely blank pages, but what I would do would, I would actually like build my, my entire monthly spread from scratch. And I would build the monthly overview from scratch and um, this is my budget. And then the weeklies, I kind of copied the Happy Planner and I did a vertical format. And um, yeah, I also built these from scratch. And this was a lot of fun. Maybe one day I wanna return to this because it was, it did allow me a lot of freedom and um, a lot of customization. Like this was absolutely uh, like customized to me and perfect for me but it also took a lot of time and it also didn't give me that much space like i quickly realized that having um just one planner wasn't enough space for me and oftentimes i felt like too claustrophobic in just one you know weekly spread i needed to branch out and i figured um getting a fitness happy happy planner would really help me and push me and motivate me in terms of fitness and health and i felt that it was perfect to like put in all of my like workouts fitness nutrition meal prepping meal planning all that stuff could go in here and it was different enough from like my work planning and my general household stuff that i felt like you know i could expand into a second planner and not feel overwhelmed. Um, that was back in the day when I felt like having two planners was super extravagant. Little did I know that one day I would go up to having 17 different planners. 
But anyways, this was the first Happy Planner I ever purchased and it was my first love. I used it so much, it inspired me so much, it motivated me so much, it really changed the game for me. And that's when I realized that Happy Planner planning, creative planning was it for me, it did it for me. Um, it really pushed me to the next level. Um, and so you're gonna see um, how I use this Happy Planner. And uh, and yeah, I hope you enjoy this flip through. So I had a lot of fun with the cover page. I sketched out my name with color pencil and pen, and I also put some cute Happy Planner stickers. This was the year at the glance, and then these were the perpetual calendar pages. I actually purchased this planner November the 15th of 2020. And I uh, tried to use these pages in like a relevant fashion. I would write down when I did like significant, um, you know, fitness events like hikes, runs, etc. But then I kind of just gave up on that. And as you can see, it's all blank. And then I took out all of the pages um, prior to the day I got this planner. So I took out July through November because um, this was an 18 month planner. So we jump straight to November here. And oh my goodness. So when I first got this planner, uh, November 15th, I have my planner birthday sticker here. What I like to use the monthly for is I like to have like a monthly exercise tracker here as well as I would give myself a little summary of the workout that I did on those days and as you can see I worked out so much when I first got this planner because I was um, just so motivated by it and then so I didn't get the planner until the 15th of this month so as you can see here I like just decorated it planner birthday and then this was the first spread and as you can see i went totally ham with it and i actually kind of maintained the format that i started with throughout the year i liked this format so much how i used it that it kind of stayed like this for the entire year so the fitness planner it has like five different sections there's the sidebar the today section the focus section the food log and the exercise section and so for the today section, I started off journaling in it about like my fitness goals and how I felt. The focus section was my stats section. I, um, I kind of started using it as a habit tracker as well as marking my stats, like steps, uh, my sleep, my caloric intake and output. The food log I used for exactly that. And then exercise was like my workout of the week. And I maintained that for uh, a good amount of time. And sometimes I would decorate with, you know, stickers. So, um, but mostly I would, um, I would, I would kind of leave this very functional and a lot of room to write in because there was a lot of stuff that I wanted to write. And uh, sometimes I would like pop in stickers here in the today section and kind of, uh, you know, just decorate. And something that I started and maintained for a while as well was that I had these weekly goals that I would put up in the sidebar and I would just have these weekly goals that I would try to meet throughout the week. And then the monthly page, um, it took me a while to figure out how I like to use this uh, monthly page. I try to have goals here in this section which has like three different like little sections. And then I also tried to add um, like important fitness dates in the date section. Like I would try to plan for like these major fitness events and like map those out. And then moving on to December, um, again, like I would use the monthly calendar to kind of uh, write out all my workouts. This was a little bit redundant to what I wrote down in the weekly pages, but I didn't mind that at all because um, you know, if I run like five miles, I want to like write it four times and scream it from the rooftops. That for me is strangely motivating to like continue to, you know, um, show it off, I guess. I mean, I'm not only, I'm only showing it off to myself in my planner, but it motivates me. Something that I did different this month, I included a meditation tracker in here as well because 
at this point I was trying to also you know practice my mental health and I didn't know where to put that stuff um, because it didn't really fit in my like catch-all planner but it also didn't really fit in my fitness planner as well although I was trying to justify putting it in here by like saying that it was um, like fitness for my mind this was before I had a wellness planner and so I was trying to fit that in here this was uh, the first week in December. As you can see, I am so intense with writing. Um, and this is where like my focus section kind of developed into uh, into what it, it into what what it was at the end of the year, which is like I would write sleep steps, cal in, cal out, and then my net caloric gain. And the food log and the exercise section remained the same. And this is when I was doing a lot of yoga with Adrian. This was the second week in December. Something that I would do whenever I would do uh, like long distance runs, I would, because I have a Fitnet and Fitbit and it tells me like the distance I ran, the pace I ran at, um, the time I ran it in and the calories I burned, I would write all of those stats here. And I also had a habit tracker for caloric deficit because I am trying to lose weight. I mean, not necessarily so. I would rather say that I'm trying to get fit and lean and toned. Like if I gain weight in that process, that's totally fine. But for me, I do tend to um, eat a little bit more than I probably should. And so for me, it's always a goal to lose weight. And so in this habit tracker, I would keep track of whether I was in a caloric deficit for the day, meaning that I was losing weight. And then uh, this was just another week. This was Christmas week, New Year's week. So this is exactly a year from now, basically. And sometimes I wouldn't get around to my workouts. I would map them out and then I just wouldn't do them. Like here as well, I mapped out that I was gonna do a long distance run and I did not do it. And then this was a January overview. I journaled here, but I really didn't use this space up here. January going strong with the workouts in the monthly calendar. And I kept on using um, the weeklies just like how I was using them previously. And I used so many different types of stickers from Recollections to the Happy Planner and various others. And I don't really decorate too much my workout uh, pages because I just use so much of the space for writing that I just don't really care to decorate that much. And um, yeah, I'll, I'll use washi, I'll stick stickers here and there, but I don't really... Um, decorate these pages too much in my opinion. I also was weighing myself at that point. Uh, so I have little like scale stickers. Something fun that I would also add was I would add like food stickers for various like, you know, if I ate hamburgers, I would put a hamburger sticker and so on. This was the February monthly. Um, I used this monthly overview a lot more this month. I had goals here outlined. I had like important dates that I wanted to, to, uh, to um, plan for, and then I had a monthly reflection. So February, I changed up the monthly calendar. I got a little tired of like writing everything down in the monthly. So what I switched to was a stamp format. So whenever I worked out, I would give myself a stamp. first week of February, second week of February, I went with a Valentine's Day theme. And then this was the third week of February. I had this really uh, cute washi strip um, from the Recollections sticker book. And something that I also would do uh, around this time, this is when I started this, whenever, uh, because I would plan out my workouts at the beginning of the week. Like I would write down what I intended to do. And sometimes I wouldn't do it. And, and then I would be like kind of annoyed that it seemed like I did it because I wrote it down. So something that I would do to like distinguish whether I actually completed the workout or not um, was I would highlight it. So these are all highlighted, meaning that I did, you know, do those workouts. 
and then um, this is March. And March, I actually started something in the monthly overview that I continued on for the rest of the year, was that I had these goals um, that I would set up here in this section. And then I had these boxes that I would like fill in once I met the goal. So here I had an ab workout week goal where I would target my abs every day for one week. And so I had seven boxes corresponding to that. And so I colored in four of them, meaning that, you know, I did four days of that week. And then this is the March monthly. This is something different that I did. Um, I, get, I did the stamp thing again, but um, I chose four different types of stamps, like a butterfly, a bee, a chicken, and a rabbit. And each one stood for like a particular type of workout, like abs, booty, cardio, arms. And then I would give myself that stamp that day. That was fun, but I didn't really keep up with it. And then we have um, the March weeklies. I had so much fun, so much fun with this um, fitness planner. So then this is the April overview. Didn't do too much here, actually. April overview, and I just didn't really get into the monthly this month. I used these little hydration trackers this week. That was fun. I had a lot of donuts this week. <laughs> and then I was like not in my planner this week. I don't know what was going on there. Then I got back into my planner. Then we have the May overview. Again, I tried to get back into the stamp, uh, the stamp tracker. Ooh, I like this one. This was like an orange theme. This was a pink theme. Then we have the May overview, and I went back to doing the like tracker here, and I actually hit all of my goals this month. And then we went back to the stamp tracker for the monthly. I started using these little like pre plan um, stationery to help me plan my week. I started using a, doing a hydration tracker here on this side. And look at, look at this, look at this week. I had so much rest this week. And you know why? Because I ran um, an eight mile, an eight mile uh, run on a Monday. This is Tecolote Canyon. And it is a run that is about, you know, eight and a half miles. And it is so, so, so intense because of the elevation loss and gain. There's so many hills and they're the steepest hills you have ever seen in your life. And so every time I run it, I feel like I'm sore for an entire week. And so that's why I was um, resting so much. And then we have um, just another week. The July monthly tracker, I was good on the abs, not so good on the booty or the arms. But I did work out a lot this week, apparently. Check that out. I'm happy with that. So, uh, yeah. This was my hydration tracker. I think I kind of want to go back to this. I enjoyed that a lot. Oh, and at some point in, during these weeks, I... Um, I ditched writing down my sleep here in the focus tracker because I ended up just setting up a sleep log to track my sleep and I just kept steps, caloric intake, caloric output, and my net caloric gain. I kind of want to go back to that actually. I'm still trying to figure out how I want to set up my um, fitness planner for 2022. So again, I had... Um, the tracker here and I wasn't so good with the abs or my arms but I felt good with the booty and then August I went back to my stamp tracker and here I also was trying to keep track of how many like what types of workouts I did August 
And something fun that I did around this time was every time I had a green smoothie for a meal, I would, you know, draw a little smoothie uh, doodle here. And also, I uh, calculated how many calories I consumed during the week entirely and uh, my weekly caloric output as well as my weekly caloric gain or loss. In this case, it was a gain just to get a sense of how much I was gaining weight or losing weight um, throughout a week. This one was fun. Little narwhals. And then we get to my September overview. Didn't do too well with my tracker. Got back to my stamp tracker here. My hydration tracker. And I think around this time I got a new fitness sticker book because I'm seeing new fitness stickers. It's always so fun to get a new fitness sticker book. Oof, look at that. I didn't do a single one. This is October and I did not really use the October monthly in this case. Oof, and then there's some days I just was not in my planner at all. Same with here, just wasn't in my planner. I think I was really busy around this time. I got back into my planner this week. And again, set up my tracker, didn't use it. I tried to get back into um, doing all of my workouts here, like how I used to do it in the beginning of the year, and I did do some of it, but um, I didn't really do too much. And then November, I was in my planner for a little bit, and then this week was the week I moved, so I was completely not in my planner. And then I tried getting back into it, um, like around the 24th, tried getting back into it and uh, yeah this was the December overview didn't use it December uh, monthly <laughs> I guess I wanted to start doing it again but totally just didn't do it um, and December I was just so busy I was so busy with family, friends, um, holidays that I just, I, w I really wasn't in here too much. I tried to be in here at some point this week and then totally did not do anything uh, this week except this intense workout on the 19th. And then again, I was just not in here and not in here for the last two weeks of the year. And yeah, I mean, I, this, if you look through all my planners, this is kind of like the theme. I'm like super into my planner until like mid-November when I moved. And then I was in it like sporadically up until like the last three weeks of the year. Up to like the entire month of December, honestly. Um, it was very, very sparse for me. And I felt like I needed that because I was just so, so busy with like settling in from the move and then going straight into the holiday seasons um you know vacation family and friends holiday stuff like it was just so much going on and i also felt like it was about time to have a planner break because i love planning but i also sometimes need a break from it because you know um, even if you love something like a lot, um, if it feels like it becomes a chore and you lose your like love and joy from it, then it's just, you know, self-defeating. So um, the planner break helped me because, you know, like every single day I wanted to get back into my planner, but I just knew that I kind of needed to take a break. And it's nice to like get away and force yourself to be away because it kind of like motivates you to get back into it once you are ready to get back into it. So that was the entire flip through of this fitness happy planner and I'm currently um, actually 
using this planner this is like um i'm not sure the exact name of it but it's like the yoga type uh, fitness planner it has this lady doing her pose in the front and it says listen to your body and um yeah this one's super super adorable and just super motivating i saw this one like when it first came out and i picked it up right then and there uh, i think i bought it like in april of last year or something because i knew that i wanted to have this planner as my fitness planner and i did not want to risk it like being sold out or me not being able to pick it up like closer to 2022 and um, i just love the the dividers in here uh, i love like the monthly overview and it has a very classic uh, fitness style setup and this is what I'm currently using for fitness in 2022. This was an 18 month planner. So I did start using it in um, in July, but because I had my Rong Rong planner already, uh, like I had my Rong Rong planner up until, you know, December of this year, I had six months of like extra pages. And so I actually used this as like my wellness planner. So this is where I did like mental health stuff, um, meditation and mindfulness, that kind of stuff. And uh, I just used it for that uh, just experimentally because I had all these extra pages um, that I, you know, that were just going to go to waste if I didn't use them. And so um, that's what I used this for. And now that we're, uh, you know, now that my wrong wrong planner has officially ended, all the pages left in this are now going to be used for fitness so really excited to be in this happy planner this year so let me know your thoughts in the comments down below let me know what you're using for your fitness planner um, in the comments down below i would love to know and have a wonderful rest of your day stay blessed and i'll catch you next time bye